Only fans, baby! To me, the only thing I can explain it as is when I was a kid and I watched the movie Angels in the Outfield and <laughs> something's just helping you. Like, it, it just felt so weird. It felt so easy. And I'm not saying that as a jab to my opponents at all because, you know, all year I've been getting getting my ass kicked by them. But something that day just felt really special and, and made it feel effortless. The only thing that would really make us happy at the end of the year is if we won the championship. And that's that's what we're all here for. Nobody, nobody remembers the race winners. They remember the champions. And I, I've tried to change that narrative, but I try to put on a show for fans and for the teams and my family, my friends, whoever it is, because you know I want it to be enjoyable, make people come back for more. I always try to be myself. Like that's like my number one rule and everything that I do is to be authentic. Like my following isn't, you know, anything crazy, but in our world, it's a it's a really big following on social media and stuff. I try to just be myself. The pasta is better in France. <laughs> <laughs> and people hate me for it, people love me for it. I can be that exciting rider to watch, but also still maintain that fight for the championship and not do anything dumb, but sometimes you just gotta have fun. Because I can be myself. You know, I, I told them going into it, as long as you guys let me be myself and let me ride on the street and connect with my fans and aren't yelling at me every other day about something different that I'm doing, I want to do it. 100% of the reason why we've been as successful as we have been, you know, two Daytona 200 wins, uh, Super Sport Championship with, I think, 10 Super Sport wins, three Superbike wins to our name now, second in the championship last year. I think that's all just due to us having fun. This sport is not a me sport at all. Like there's so much that goes into it. So many millions of dollars from sponsors, a crew of 15 guys that never gets thanked and never gets appreciated. Team owners that stay behind the scenes and spend their own money to make this possible. And families and friends that all make it possible. I've really used the OnlyFans platform and OFTV to really just show people what it's like to be a racer. There's more people that care about just the conversations that go on as soon as we come in from the track than they do about anything else. Like they wanna know what are you guys saying to each other right there. Like the whole bike just felt different than it did all year. So that's what I try to, you know, make my viewers feel like is like they're there. It's it's not always so, hey, what's up guys, we're at Road America. Like I'm trying to like get away from that and and just have it be a little bit more personable, I guess, or exclusive, I guess, in a way. It's man, work hard, never give up, and, and always have fun. It's, it's so simple. You stop doing all the things that you waste hours of your day doing, and you really just dedicate your time to, to getting better at making money, <laughs> make smart decisions, and put in the hard work, never give up, and, and just always have fun doing it. And, and I think uh, success will come with almost anything that you, that you do if you, if you do those three things.